Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Other Than Education, uh, the English Council. And as a beautiful Thursday, we are talking about a beautiful topic, idioms. And we are talking about, or we are learning uh, the, the idioms that you can use to talk about success or traits you need to achieve success. So we had the idioms like spreading yourself too thin, that is to do uh, like take every opportunity you get or multitasking and because of that you lose your energy and also know which side your bread is buttered on. You need to know uh, uh, which one or which thing is advantageous when uh, it is when you are talking about your success, success and also if you are busy, if you are as busy as a bee, that can be a disadvantage sometimes because you are like moving quickly um, and you are doing many things and then at the end of the day you lose a lot of energy because of it. And also we were talking about uh, some idioms like um, what smooth sailing life is not smooth sailing okay it's not going to be easy progress but it's going to be very difficult uh, so it's not smooth sailing you say right so today we have the final part of the dialogue because mr jaiwardhan is actually advising us on how to be successful as an entrepreneur not an entrepreneur but also when being successful in your life, these things are very important. So let's see what Mr. Jaiwardana has in store for us today. Right, okay. So interviewer, look at the screen. What is the most important ability a successful entrepreneur should have? Uh, most important ability. Hari, Mr. Jaiwardana mati kiyan na koye henang. Wadat ma vedaka thakiya ma mukadda vyeva saay ke ekta tibiya yutu. Vedaka tvashen ma tibiya yutu hakiya ma mukadda. Let's see what his answer is. Okay, look at the screen. It is to have the presence of mind not to simply take advantage of an opportunity but also to keep your eye on the ball. Then, good luck. Mia Katakan, Mr. Javardana, or G. You take an opportunity so coma gande pa, ah, hammer day, ganam a body baby, coma deva ganam a body when the youth, hurry, am I successful when the key at my Katakan? Right, okay. Next one, final sir, what is the last piece of advice that you can give our audience? Make sure you never, there's no two here, you never show your hand to your opponents. Thank you very much sir for joining us today and talking about keys to success. Okay, now I'm going to show you the idioms this part of the conversation has. Right, okay, look at the screen. Keep your eye on the ball. Ah, make a sports selling in a medium maker. Sartha Kavinakota Atiavashimona deak. Right, next one. Never show your hand to your opponents. Never show your hands to your opponents. Again, an indoor sport, a king o kene, keys to success. Una. So, what do you mean by keep your eye on the ball? Here, are you mad? Keep your eye on the ball. Huh? Yeah, that is the figurative meaning. Keep your eye on the ball. Now, let's say. You are playing a sport like football, rocker, wanna make a cricket, anything, right? Cricket game ago. Cricket toller, right? Then hitana bowler now are betting, right? You are betting and bowler then bowl karano, right? If you don't keep your eye on the ball, 
එකක් ඔයා මොකටද දැන් ගහන්න යන්නේ එන බෝලෙට නේ ගහන්නේ එතකොට ඔයා මොකද්ද ඔයාට පුළුවන්ද දැන් බෝල එනකොට ආ ඔයා බලනවා බෝල බෝලගේ දත් ටික කොහෙද තියෙන්නේ බෝලේ එවද්දි බෝල් කරද්දි ඊළඟට විකට් කීපර් පේන්නේ නැහැනේ අපි කියමු බවුන්ඩරි ලයින් එකේ ඉන්න ප්ලේයර් ගේ ටී ෂර්ට් එක පොඩ්ඩක් හරියට ටකින් වෙලා නැහැ වගේ ආ ඒකත් බලනවා එහෙමත් බලනවද දන්නේ රයිට් ඊළඟට අම්පයර් ගේ තොප්පිය හරියට දාලා නැහැ ुनिटीटे වට්ටේ තියෙන දේවල් ගැන වොරි වෙනවා නෙමෙයි you need to keep the eye on the ball ඔය හරියට බෝලෙ දිහා බලන් ප්ලේ කරන්න ඕනේ සාර්ථක වෙනකොටත් එහෙමයි සමහර වෙලාවට අපි ඔක්කොම වට්ටේ තියෙන ඔක්කොම දිහා බලන් ඉන්නවා you are too busy right observing or watching everything else around you but you are not paying attention to what is really needed you are not keeping your eye on the ball that can be the reason why we fail at many things failing is okay right success comes through failure but like failing every day doing the same thing again right in vain so uh, you need to keep your eye on the ball so when you are learning the language right let's say you are learning english you have a problem with uh speaking so you have a problem with speaking and you because you don't have a partner to practice or something like that him ki mu copy or english ekena gannu ne speaking oyata partner gene naha katha karanna hari igena ganna hari wadanna eka one kiyala e dana gena wa mokata karanne samahalata grammar pod godak karagena grammar igena ganno katha karanne igena ganne ne oya katha karanne igena ganno na katha karanna one so you are not focused oya watte thiyena ewa kara kara inna you don't have your eye on the ball keep your eye on the ball but you are like busy uh observing everything else and also when you are doing some task let's say you on the computer enakota computer ke weda kara kara innakota etakota den enama notifications ano api kemu fb eken ewa me wawalin ona whatsapp walin enakota notification eka ඔයා කරන වැඩේ නෙමෙයි ෆෝකස් එක තියෙන්නේ. ඔයාගේ ෆෝකස් එක තියෙන අර නෝටිෆිකේෂන් එක රීඩ් කරන එක වෙන මොන හරි දෙයක් කරන එක එහෙම නැත්නම් ඔයාගේ ඔෆිස් එකේ පිටිපස්ස එක කෙනා කියන එක ගැන ෆෝකස් එක එහෙම එහෙ. ඒකට බොස් ඇවිල්ලා ඔයාගේ ළඟට කෙනා හිය රුක්ෂි කීප් යෝ අයි ඔන් ද බෝල්. කීප් යෝ අයි ඔන් ද බෝල්. ආ බොස් වෙස් ද බෝල්. කීප් යෝ අයි ඔන් ද බෝල් කියන ස්ටේ ෆෝකස්ඩ්. ඩු වොට් යෝ ආර් ඩුයිං. ඇ මීන් ලයික් uh focus on what you are doing otherwise you are not going to achieve results keep your eye on the ball keep your eye on the ball so this idiom derives from directly derives from sports so keep your eye on the ball is a very easy idiom hema tissema apita godak ape prashna vela tiyenne tapita focus eka nathi eka ithin meka nithara paavachi karanna pula idiom ekak mataka tiya gan look at the examples look at the screen yeah I graduated in just 3 years because I was able to keep my eye on the ball and prioritize my studies above all else. So I graduated in just 3 years. Hari ita mawuruda tone yanda man graduate una mokada? Mage mama graduate kenek una? I graduated because I kept my eye on the ball. I kept my eye on the ball. Right? And hema deyata ma kali man kare mage studies. So If children are watching us, okay. So put there. If you keep your eye on the ball while studying, you can achieve anything. Some of the problems we have is we don't have a or we don't keep our eyes on the ball. We are not focused. We we don't generate results, right? In the part of the grammar, matter. Kiti ne ki na yomi ma prashne ne apni samhar vilada. We are not focused or we are not keeping our eyes on the ball. right okay final example look at the screen it's important to keep your eye on the ball this week our biggest client will be visiting the factory for random inspections okay then we can already look kick have we like employees let you know okay team we need to keep our eyes on the ball this week because 
that uh, client, that VIP client is visiting us this week. Keep your eye on the ball. So stay focused and do your part. Right? Because to win the game, you need to stay focused. You need to keep your eyes on the ball. Right, okay. Next one is never show your hand to your opponents. Me avilla. Right, you are playing card like like when you are playing indoor games, card packing up your omega. I mean, I don't know whether you know like you know it, right? I mean, yes, Omi, that's not happy. You get Trump card you know, you like play cards with your friends. It's a good way at cards, then tell papi card, hata hamuna, kill a matter. Mangi card, hata hamuna, mani, that we want to have a card, we want to have a card, kill a pen, a pen, no other pen, no other him, pen, no other. Nah. Because you won't show your hand to others, especially your opponents. Anita, you are opponents, like opponents again. I give you the word, you might take a compete, compete, Karani, and I am my competitors. Mukada Vene Penua, Egolo Danagano, we are Gava Mukada Tiene, we are a plan, Nakamukada, we are Hitani Mukada, Wagi card together, come on, Hitagana Pura. Right? So, never show your hand to your opponents. Never show your hand to your opponents. Can you look at the screen? You let others know your th thoughts and plans rather than keeping them to yourself. Don't let your competitors know what your thoughts and plans are because it will be really disadvantageous for you. Um, because they will know everything and they will know your next move. Ilang kita yah karan ni ana de, egulo dana ganna. Eh, inda kawat awat api competitors lata. Ape ate ti ena turumpu card deka hari. Ape card hari api penna ni ne. Bukde yah mang karan ni ana de dana ganna. Itu kote eka mata wasi. Mat di nala deh ni itu kote. So don't show your hand to your opponents. Don't show your hand to your opponents. Right, in the way, don't show your hand. Can I at the pen and the power with the word in the make or card selling? Like, I will let the card selling, and we say, like, poker game making. I will let you know. We are going to know, we are going assets. Are you are going assets? You are thoughts and plans. Eva, we are going to do the word in the hammer. You execute what you have in mind, don't show or tell uh, them like what you are planning to do. So don't show your hand to your opponents. I'll see you after the break. Welcome after the break, and you are with Atta Derana Education, the English Council. Monari Padamak Miss Sunana, a few kohin the Balana Puluan, a few kohin the pay lessons follow Karana Pulua. Go to our YouTube, Atta Derana Education, under that you have the English Council, and this is phase two. In phase one, you have Rebecca Teacher teaching you grammar and spoken English, and here we have you have me teaching you vocabulary and speaking. Lessons one hari miss Sunana English Council like it. Give him like it. In a lessons balana pull one TV ke miss or not? Right. So we were talking about don't show your hand to your opponents. Oya ki virudh baat yeh roagi atta penna ne paatta penna ne pagane me atta penna na mane me. But the thoughts you have, the plans you have, don't tell your opponents what those are because it's going to be disadvantageous for you. Ye koi aata avasi hai mukad oya ki virudh baat yeh oya karan ne na dege na dena karan na mane. Right? So through social media, it has become very easy, really easy for us to tell what our plans are and what my thoughts are. So don't show your hand to your opponents. Let's look at two examples. He doesn't want to show his hand. I'm sure he has better plans. Some people, they never show their hand. 
They never show their hand. Egulu kava dava. They gulungi. You can attapenna ne na ne me. They never never show their hand. Kya la kya ne? They never talk about their plans, their thoughts, right? Have I? They have. I'm sure that they have better plans. I'm sure that they will be successful, right? Next one. In business negotiations, it's important that you don't show your hand right away or you might risk losing out on the best deal possible. In business negotiations, Ugulu business karana connect na ugulu dano negotiation ne kakata giyama, right? Negotiate karana kota wage oluweti na thoughts, plans, okkuma kiyan ne ne ani party ekata. Mukada ek tava connect aragena. Yaga plan nakadira dan, the Puluang Himanatangi deal like a winner can egg deal like a villa, a negotiation a cagapata heron, Pulua. Imanatangi pono and ma acre gun, Pulua. So never show your hand to your opponents. Right? Okay. Next one is key to success. So when you say, when you, if, if someone asks you the question, what is the key to success or what is your key to success what is your secret to success key to success kiyala kiyanne yaturak wage thamai sarthakatwaya sandaha oya gawa thiyena yatura mokadda so mr jayawardhana was talking about the keys to success from his life eyage gawa thiyena sarthakatwaya kiyana dura ara inna tibba durak nemey yattata meke avilla dura wal janel godak loku geyak para gate godak ehema kiyala ogulunta hitanna pula so he was talking about keys to success by using a lot of idioms, right? So uh, keys to success, can you, what is uh, your secret to success, right? He said his key to success is perseverance. You know what this term is perseverance? No pasu batava ar deyak, yam deyak allagena karagena yam. Kuhuma mahansi vela, vihesa vela, yam deyak allagena karagena yam apiki no. He has a lot of perseverance skill, right? Next on, do you know his key to success? What do you know? Yagi Sartaka when Rahasamukad the Kila Sartaka we may Rahasamukad the Kila Yadana. Do you know his key to success? Do you know his key to his key to success? Ah, key to success Kila Kiane make up a Iverakaran, right? Make Iverakarani conversation. Thank you very much for sharing your keys to success. We are Sartaka when. Thank you, Kira. So these are some idioms about success. Now let's look at some idioms about life. Jeevite gana katakarana. Success ha sammandhavama jeevite yana nisa. Mamhito jeevite gana katakarana pulang idioms ika katakarana thundai kela. Okay, look at the screen. So I have this, oh no, sorry. Let's do this quiz first. And then uh, let's talk about idioms about life. Okay, I'll give you one to two minutes. Go through this and select the best possible idiom that you can use with each sentence. My friend is as these days. He never gets time to relax. What is it? We've been lucky in life. It's been since the very beginning. Alan accidentally um, blank during the negotiation for his business deal. Franklin went from, in his life, he started with nothing and ended up a very, ended up being a very wealthy person. Here you should have being, ah, huh? being. My boss at work because it was my first week. Right, let's see whether you have graphs what I taught. Taught. Right, my friend is as a you, he never gets time to relax. Well, I know my yellow kissima velava knane rest karanda, relax karanda. Mukada, he is as busy as a pia you running here and there doing lot of things. He never has time to relax. 
He's as busy as B. Next one. We've been lucky in life. Look at the screen. Apinna jivite harima vasanamantai. Mukada. It's been. What do you think it is? So busy as B. Busy as a B. Gia. Ah, we've been very lucky because hey, jivite nikang never hari le sing padavan the puluvan na ah pulang na storms na kunatu na. Lesson eh? Ah, Jivite Kiana Mude. Last Sunday, Lacey in Paduana Pulana, Jivite Hari Lacey, Vasana and Taitamai. But the, I have a different opinion, right? So uh, we've been lucky, but here in this sentence, they feel that they are lucky because it's been smooth sailing. Kissi Amaruak Neto Harima smoothly Tamai never Paduagane and Hari smoothly. Hari sunny, better hurry, last son at the animal. Smooth sailing. Right, okay. Next one. Alan accidentally, during the negotiations for his business deal, Palanuko, Varadilla, Alan, Turk, Kyunani, Yagi, plan sticker, Varadilla, business deal, like the negotiate Karadi, Palanuko, Hari, Vadin, Uni, Alan, what is the idea? So you don't have smooth sailing anymore. What is the idea? Ah, showed his hands or showed hands. Showed hands, Kenny, you know it, right? Alan was talking about his plans and thoughts. So he accidentally revealed what his plans were. Alan accidentally showed his hands. So he lost the deal. He lost the deal. He lost the deal. This can happen to you if you show your hands to your opponent, especially. Next one. Franklin went from in his life, he started with nothing and ended up being a very wealthy person. Can you remember? Vera Helene Dang Yanawa Unavastuakti in a tenata Ratarang Mini Mutu Mani Kunavastuakti in a tenata Yanawa Tapimoka de Kiane. What is it? Look at the screen. Franklin went from rags to riches. Rags to riches went from go from. Lapisaman in the verb becker. Rags to riches. Where hell you will in the yeah, Purima was to the Natana Tianama. That is being very poor to very wealthy. Right? Okay. The final one. My boss at work because it was my first week. Samaning, Unamatana Kapirasa, Kutagiyama, Patangan, Nakota, Unamavadak. We need support from other people. So you can say, that person showed me the ropes. Uh, he showed me the ropes. Nice idioms. So I would say there are uh, intermediate level simple idioms as well. But most of it are like advanced idioms, but you can use them in your conversation. So that puro dunat may use karan pula hipa. Ko hari kiuat kauru hari oglu te puluan the mini neka olu ata ganda. Right? Okay. Let's talk about life. Eka yan ni apy pody article leka king. Eka ni article leka me article leka eka kelly wala mam kadoa. I've taken this uh, from the internet. So I'm going to talk about the life eka apy friends lagay na apy alu gana kata karan mam ni ha. Yalu again, up it hamena again, a kataka and one minime, karana woman. Yalu again, up it pachikrana pulang idioms, mona the killer balam. Look at the screen. Right. So it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lengthy article, I would say. Put a balana, mang make a kasarak unit, or hit up it pulang idioms, pick karana making. It's important to find people that you like. That means finding someone who won't make you feel put upon. That's truly a horrible feeling. It's also a good idea to find people who aren't going to press your buttons too much. Friends will kid around, but good friends will hit a happy medium between joking and respecting each other. On the topic of friends, it's a good idea to treat your friends like you'd like to like like you'd like them to treat you. Make a woman balang in a screen ekadiha. That means finding someone who won't make you feel put upon. 
that's truly a horrible feeling it's also a good idea to find people who aren't going to press your button bra mona button mage koyada button ah friends will kid around kid around kada kid around baba wenawada mage yalu e kiyanne me hama ekakata ma idiomatically meaning ekak thiyena yalu gana katha karaddi hema nata minissu gana ape wate ina minissu gana katha karaddi athyawashya idioms thamai oya thiyenne eva katha karamu eva gana poddak katha karamu heta So have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.